Hello and welcome back to the Coder Shop channel. Costing methods are an essential part of accurate inventory management and financial transparency for any organization. Without them, tracking inventory value and profitability can become complex and out of control. To help companies manage inventory valuation effectively, Odoo offers three main costing methods standard price, average cost, and first in, first out. So let's dive into the database and take a closer look at how these methods impact your stock valuation and what makes each one unique. To manage the costing methods, let's navigate to the inventory, configuration, and head into the product categories. As you can see, I created categories with their own products for each method individually. If you dive in, you'll notice the inventory valuation section where the costing methods are configured. There are three main costing methods in Odoo, standard price, average cost, and first in, first out. Let's start with the standard price. This method uses as a fixed cost defined in the product form that doesn't change regardless of purchase or sale prices. Under this category, you'll notice that we currently have only one product listed. If you look at the product details, we can see that the quantity on hand is zero and the cost is set to $10. Now let's navigate to the purchase module to see how the costing method impacts the product cost during the purchase. To do this, we'll create a new purchase order, select a vendor, and add the product one. By default, the product price is set to $10. For this example, I'll update the price in the order to 15. Next, let's click Save and confirm this RFQ. After that, let's proceed to receive the product and validate the transaction to add the item to our inventory. At this point, you can review the valuation by clicking this more button. As you can see, the cost of the product remains at 10, even though we manually updated the price in the purchase order to 15. This is because the costing method of the product is set to standard price. With this method, Odoo considers the cost value defined in the product form as fixed, regardless of changes made to the purchase order price. Okay, now let's go back to the inventory app, dive into the product categories, and talk about the average cost method. This method calculates the product cost as the average value of all products currently in stock. This is particularly useful when items are procured from multiple vendors or purchased at different prices. In this example, we've also already created the product with an additional cost of $10. Now let's make two purchases with different product costs and see the average cost method in action. I'm going to create a new request for quotation with the vendor Azure Interior. For this purchase, I'll order one unit of product two at a cost of $10. After confirming the order, let's receive the product into stock by clicking the validate button. Next, let's take another purchase for the same product, but this time at a different price. To do this, I'll create a new RFQ with another vendor. Again, I'll select product two and order one unit, but this time I'll set the price to $20. After saving and confirming the order, let's receive the product into stock and validate the transaction. Now if we go back to inventory, under the related product category, if you click on product smart button, you would be able to find the product cost is now changed to $15. This change occurred because you made two purchases for the same product. The first purchase was for one unit at $10. The second purchase was for one unit and $20. So the total inventory valuation is therefore $30. Dividing this total by the two units in stock gives an average cost of 15. Finally, if you navigate to the product form, you'll also see that the product cost has been updated to $15, reflecting the average cost calculation. The last one is the first in, first out method. It assigns the cost of the oldest product in stock at the product cost. 
Once the oldest product is removed from the inventory, the cost of the next oldest product is used. This method is particularly useful in industries where inventory must be used or sold in the order in which it is received. But we'll explore this method in more detail in our upcoming videos. The last thing I want to emphasize is that it is important to distinguish costing methods from removal strategies, like first things first out or last thing first stop. Removal strategies dictate the physical movement of goods, while costing methods determine how values are calculated. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.